Now, Rockstar Games is a game developer not known to have their upcoming projects leak before they announce them. And how exactly they've gone about achieving this is through numerous methods of maintaining secrecy within the organization, from making employees sign apparent non-disclosure agreements or NDAs, to ensure that they know their jobs would be at risk for leaking information, to apparent strict policies in the office, stopping employees from having access to their phones while at work to avoid pictures of projects being taken. Now, whether these rules and policies are true or not, for sure are only things that have been rumored for years, but the fact that Rockstar has been able to keep their major projects a secret for the most part in the past years is still pretty interesting. Now, unfortunately for Rockstar, in the more recent months, they haven't been as good as they used to be when it came to keeping leaks a secret as seen with the upcoming GTA Trilogy to be releasing in just a few days at the time of this video. But let's take a look back at some major leaks across some Rockstar titles that were confirmed to be legitimate months after they were once revealed. And to start us off, let's take a look back at GTA 5. The first leak comes from a resume of stuntman Declan Mulvey, who accidentally updated his resume to include GTA 5 back in March of 2011, over two years before the game was released or even announced. Now, with experience on his resume coming from stunt work in video games, there was a pretty high possibility of him playing a role in GTA 5, which was later confirmed two years later in 2013 when his name was seen rolling through the credits of GTA 5. Now, I wouldn't necessarily put the blame here on Rockstar Games for this, but this was definitely something that could have easily been avoided. Our next leak comes a year later in 2012 when Rockstar employee Alex O'Dwyer mentions on his CV that he had worked on Grand Theft Auto V and that it is expected to release during October of 2012. Now, considering GTA V released in September of 2013, almost a year later, most would consider this leak to be fake. But a few months later in that year of October of 2012, the date originally planned for GTA V's release, promotional material for GTA V ended up getting leaked, revealing a release date of spring of 2013, which was the original release date for the game, only for it to be delayed to September later that year. Now, October 2012 at the time did look to be the original unofficial release date for GTA V until being delayed officially later in 2013. Now, moving on to Rockstar's next title of the last decade, Red Dead Redemption 2 also had its own fair share of legitimate leaks, if not even more, than GTA 5 did, with one of its early ones being its biggest, being the leaked map coming in April of 2016, two and a half years before its actual release. At the time, many did accuse this of being fake, but later in 2018, at release it was confirmed to pretty much be real. Now, the origins of this leak are not entirely confirmed, whether they came from someone internal at Rockstar or not, but the map was originally posted to website NeoGAF back in April of 2016 and quickly circulated afterwards. Despite the small differences between this version of the map and the final map in Red Dead Redemption 2, it's pretty safe to say that this is one of Rockstar's biggest leaks ever seen from one of their titles. Now, a few screenshots did release throughout 2016, which were also confirmed to be legitimate, such as this one, which was confirmed that this is Black Bell's hideaway in Red Dead Redemption 2. And while they don't look completely identical, the details highlighted in the comparison provide enough similarities to make it seem like it's the same building, at least the same core building. Further credibility is earned based on the fact that Rockstar tried to get this picture taken down, and it was in fact leaked by an artist working for Rockstar at the time. Now, throughout October 2016 and September of 2017, leading up to the game's second trailer, many more details of the game slowly made their way to the internet, including the main protagonist, Arthur Morgan, further plot details, and even gameplay leaks. Most of these leaks were confirmed to be true at the time of the game's release, just years later, which goes on to show 
Rockstar definitely wasn't able to maintain their active projects as good as they once were through the later years of the 2010s. Now, with the recent announcement of the GTA trilogy set to release in just a few days, this game was pretty much unofficially revealed over a year ago, and not through any major leaks, but through actions done by Rockstar Games and their parent company Take-Two Interactive, which all started with taking down Arcadia Squad's fan-made remastering of San Andreas based off of the Unreal Engine, the same engine being used for the upcoming Definitive Edition. Alongside this, Rockstar's acquisition of Rufian Games, later becoming Rockstar Dundee, also hinted at an upcoming project relating towards remastering as Rufian Games was known for previous remasters. But where Rockstar really failed to keep the trilogy a secret was when the achievement set and logos had leaked for all three games a few days in advance of an official announcement via the Rockstar Games launcher. Whoever was responsible for updating the launcher definitely got some heat for this update, but this pretty much forced Rockstar to drop an announcement regarding the game as it was pretty obvious what was going on at this point. Now, Rockstar have made some moves to avoid the game leaking prior to release day of November 11th by not making preloading available on the PC and limiting preloading only to the consoles, but at this point I wouldn't be surprised if we do actually end up getting real gameplay leaks at any time between now and November 11th. This pretty much wraps up some of the major leaks to come from Rockstar Games across their most recent major titles, and I'm interested to hear from you guys on what you think about this, and whether you think any of the leaks surrounding GTA 6 and GTA 5 enhanced and expanded have some weight to them as well. When GTA 6 does come out, whenever that is, I'll probably be going through all of the leaks that we've got and see which ones were actually legit, but that video might end up taking over an hour, seeing how GTA 6 leaks seem to be coming out every week nowadays. Now, if you like this kind of video, definitely subscribe for more of this kind of content and content on the upcoming GTA trilogy very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, it's been Nick Plays Games, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!